All right, let's go ahead and finish this uh, this little crow up. I'm going to go ahead and take my V tool, and I'm just going to make this little beak in here. Not real stylized, just just like that. Be careful on the on the end there, in other words. And his eye is gonna be a somewhere around in here, somewhere around in there. And basically, all I've got to do is just take a, my V tool and make his eye in there. Not gonna be anything uh, out of the ordinary. In here. Okay. Okay, now, let's take these wings. Bring them down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my, my V tool. I'm just gonna kinda just do a little number like this, in other words. to the end there. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm gonna kinda bring that down just a little bit. I just wanna not have such a, like that. And the same way over here, I'm just gonna, I don't have to add this, I'm just gonna add a little bit. These are just basically simple projects for simple. And I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna put a little, I'm just gonna put a little a little bit of that back here. Just a little bit. You don't want it too detailed because folk art, folk art's not as detailed as, it's more of a plain type piece. It's more of a plain type way of doing something, in other words, than uh, a lot of detail. Most folk art, there's not a whole lot of detail in it. It's just, um, And the same thing here, kind of round this off. Like I said, folk art is not, uh, there's not a lot of detail in folk art. I've seen in most pieces that I've seen, uh, now that a lot of times it's a painting type situation where people add a lot with the painting and stuff, but it's not what you would call, in fact, I'm gonna flatten this out a little bit more. Just a minute, just just I'm gonna kind of just flatten that. See how that how that is. I won't 
on this back side here. I want to flatten it out just a little bit more. Bring that down. There we go. See? That's what I should have done in the first place. I just didn't didn't do it. Well, when I started doing the feathers, I realized I wanted it a little bit flatter than what I wanted to. And that's what I'm saying about folk art. It's kind of a... People... I think it's the rustic look of it that is so famous with people that they like it so much. Is it is it not really what you would call extreme detail type like the, like the figures I do where I add quite a bit of detail and stuff. Now, there we go. Now, I'm going to just kind of get that... Uh, um, but more the rustic type look for like country living and, and stuff like that. There we go. And uh, that's what people like about the folk art. So they don't like a lot of detail in it, so I'm not going to give it a lot of detail. Give that little thing right there. Okay. We've just about got him done. Same thing here. I'm going to flatten this a little bit more too, folks, back here. I just want to... I don't know why. I just uh, flatten that a little bit more back there. I'm not happy with that. There we go. That's what I want. There. Now we're cooking with gas. Sometimes when you do something, you like getting these moods where you say, well, I want it this way, or I want it that way, or whatever. And then you just do it. Now, if you're going to flatten it out quite a bit, you need to put your finger against this if you're going to do a, uh, some, yeah, where I just have this. But, Okay, now then, there we go. And like I said, folk art is it's a funny uh, way that people like it. But like I said, it's not extremely detailed. There's not a whole lot of extreme detail in a, in a folk art piece. So if we're going to make it folk art, we don't want to put too much detail in it. We just want enough that will make it, make it what we want it. Because remember, this is going to be painted black and all that. And that's a little too much. Okay. All right, let me wet this thing. I'm playing folks, I gotta I gotta stop that. I always do that. I always play a little bit with it. 
see something I don't like or something like that. Okay, there he is. Now you just, now when he's painted, of course, he'll be uh, much more uh, noticeable. And um, it's just like the eyes and stuff, you know, a lot of people, but, but as you can see, the eyes are not strong or anything like that. So, there's our crow. And we'll paint him. When we get through, we'll paint him and uh, have him dirty. So that's our little folk art crow that we did. Let me get this. I'm going to clean him up. Get him going. I pick folks. I just keep on picking on things. I just... <laughs> and we'll paint him. And set him up the way we want him. And stuff. And have him done. Okay. God bless you now. Thank you for joining me. And uh, this is our, our little first little project that we're going to do. We're going to do a little cardinal next. A little stylized cardinal. And um, that's our little crow. And we'll paint him and put him on a little pedestal. And this will make a good little gift just to give to someone or, or to... Uh, or to um, whatever, whatever you want. Okay. God bless you now.